drag it into that second fill. Or cl click on that fill and click orange. Now you'll notice that it's black dots and orange background. Okay. Now we are going to go to our, let's see. All right, you guys got it? Uh, the orange background, you just click on the second fill and then drag the orange into it. Or double click the orange. Okay. Okay, um, what we're gonna do is under our transparency, you guys see transparency? We're gonna change the transparency to multiply. Remember we used multiply in the grunge tutorial? And we're gonna change it to something like uh, 60%. So change the opacity down. Um, and you can adjust the opacity to what you think looks the best. I'll leave that up to you. You can go 60 or more if you want. Okay, so now we have that. Um, we're gonna take your logo and put it on the bottom left or wherever you'd like it to go. And you're gonna take your Blamo and you can place your Blamo. Um, I would put it maybe at the top left or bottom right. Yeah, I'll just put it up here. Now your Blamo, we don't want it to be that obvious. So we want to take our opacity down on our Blamo too. Maybe change it to multiply as well. Okay, and there's only one more thing we gotta do. And then we can go back and see what you guys missed. Um, the last thing what we're gonna do is the surf or the snowboard guy. So go ahead and open up that file with the surfboard guy. Okay, and maximize him, and I'm gonna go command zero. Okay, now, did you know that we can color our artwork? Um, well, first of all, if you select these zero, these, uh, the snow drift, we can like change that to blue, right? And it changes it. But what happens if we wanna change our surfboard guy? We hit blue, but he's all blue now. And it's kinda cool. You see these little white spots? Those are gaps. Those are gaps in our artwork that aren't closed. You know how you make like a, a pen tool and you have to close your uh, shape? Some of those shapes aren't closed. But basically we're gonna be able to paint. So what we're gonna do is go to edit, sorry, object, go to object and live paint, choose gap options. And choose medium gaps and green. And this basically will show us uh, the um, gaps that they have. Is that yeah. And then go on the left side, you'll see a p paint bucket. Okay, go ahead and click that, or it's K, letter K. And choose your swatches or your color scheme. Basically, you can go to like your color guide. Um, if you don't have this color guide, go to window color guide and then choose like the color guide that you want. You can choose complementary two. I'm gonna choose this 
um, this one. Do you guys remember learning these terms under the color theory quiz? Yeah, so this, st like, this stuff is really useful. So choose the ones you want. I'm going to choose that one. And basically, I'm going to start painting um, this guy according to what I want. So I'm going to make him have like a blue board. Um, if you use your arrow keys, you notice that there's three colors selected. If you left arrow, it'll change the color. And it'll keep changing the colors. So basically, you can paint really fast by using the arrow keys. So go ahead and paint really fast this guy. So I can like cycle through the colors. The left and right arrows. Left and right. Or you can just click on the arrow, the colors you want up here, but that's usually more time consuming. So just go ahead and Okay, so you don't have to like do the whole thing, but you should have um, a bunch of it. Okay, and then when you're done with that, you're going to take your guy, highlight in the snow, copy it, go back to your main poster, paste it in and then there he is you can center it a little bit better and then there you go um, make sure you put him on the front so command shift right bracket will bring him to the front of the things that you need okay the last thing you need to do is call clipping mask what Clipping Mask will do is basically delete everything outside of this box area that we don't need anymore. So first of all, to do that, um, we don't need the text and artwork areas, so we're going to go ahead and hide those layers because uh, what it does is Clipping Mask only crops off certain layers. Choose a rectangle tool on the left side and ch change it to a different color. And then draw a rectangle around the edge so it encompasses your work. Then you're going to hit Command A and then V for the selection tool and then Control Click and then Make Clipping Mask. And then Deselect and then basically shows that. If you want the artwork later, you can easily do that by Release Clipping Mask and it will go back to normal. Okay. So we can unhide our eyes and then we got it. Place your created by your name into your poster and upload it to Posturus.